Mike Webster, he was a crucial part of the Steelers' legendary team in the 1970s. But after his death, he became the first player to be diagnosed with the brain disease CTE. So why is his family not getting a dime of a billion-dollar NFL concussion settlement? His son and ex-wife sat down with me for an exclusive television interview. It was almost like we were deliberately left out of that settlement. Mike Webster's ex-wife, Pam, Garrett are frustrated. Webster was known as Iron Mike when he was part of the Steelers team that made history in the 70s. But after football, his family says he began to unravel. As a son, it's very difficult when you have to look after your dad more than having him look after you. Seeing the decline in Mike and still knowing that he's somebody's hero. I think that was really hard. It began with depression and anger, later forgetfulness and confusion. It got so bad, it affected the whole family. It doesn't just affect, you know, the, the poor person who's um, diagnosed with it. And at that time, we didn't know what was going on. Welcome, Mike Webster. She cringes when she thinks of his Hall of Fame acceptance speech. I worked hard because I was scared. I was scared I'd fail. Believing it was the first time his fans saw his decline. As portrayed in the movie Concussion, it was after his death that Webster became the first player to be diagnosed with CTE, a brain disease caused by repeated head injuries. Which unleashed killer proteins upon Mike Webster's brain. Despite all that, Webster's family is not part of a billion dollar NFL settlement for former players, even though their lawyer says. Every single one of them would agree that the first person that should ever be paid is the Webster family. But the settlement has a cutoff date of 2006, and Webster died four years before that. His family, though, says they'll keep fighting to be included. We deserve that, and I, Mike deserves that. More than anything, it's not about me or what could happen. It's his legacy. And the Webster family isn't living the kind of life today's players' families might. Garrett, one of four siblings, delivers pizzas. And Pam can't afford a home. She stays with friends. Now, if they were included in this settlement, they could get as much as $4 million. One of the lawyers who represented the players in the settlement tells the New York Times that if they hadn't agreed to the 2006 cutoff date, many more players would be in the Webster's situation.